Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I will explain you about how to get real time live score from any website through API calls using your path. So, till now we have discussed several aspects in this channel, but here very interesting concept which we are creating like getting a live score or live cricket score from any specific website and showing up in our UiPath code. So if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with this. Before starting with actual coding and concept, let's see about agenda. Here we'll discuss what is API, how to generate a request through API, then we are using which application we are using for generating a request through API, how we'll get the API link for generating a request and after everything is done, we'll create a one script we'll call in your path and call that script through that script the actual data or actual score of any match or any cricket match. So let's begin with this. So first of all what is API? API is basically works as request and response basis. That response would be generated either in XML or JSON. So API is miserably work with the JSON will get the response in JSON format. As you can see here, these are the JSON formats which are generated while we are doing any inquiry. So basically we are doing an inquiry and we are getting a response for that inquiry. So which all application is required for doing the, uh, this inquiry? So Postman and SOAP UI, these two applications are globally accepted and almost all the organizations are using for doing an inquiry and getting a response through an API. So we'll also do that by using some sites where many of the sites are providing these URLs or many of the websites are doing inquiry. For trial version, we are getting 200 or 300 requests per day. But if you'll take a purchase or if we are creating an account and paying for them, they will definitely increase the inquiry count as well. Because in an organization, it's 200 and 300 is a very less count for any specific project. But when we are working with the global organization, they are regularly doing millions of inquiry in a day or month. So, I'm, I did not install a Postman and Sophia in my system because I am having a very interesting website from where we can do this inquiry. And there is another website which is providing us a URL. So, postmonks.com is a website where I have created my account and I got 180 request per day. For creating an account, you go to here, register your account or register after registration you will get a mail notification once you will confirm through your email id you are able to log in this site so once you log in you are directed to this page where you have to create your token number this token number we will use it for the authorization purpose of making any request so i have already created and because of that i am not creating you just have to enter your name or token basic name after entering the token basic name once you click on the create it will generate a token id for you which we can use it for creating a request this is the website where i am going to do the request so this is the url or let me show you how i'll get the url once you click on the docs and go to documentation part so you will get this URL. So Sports Monk is basically providing three game request API, 
but if you are purchasing you will get all the teams request api url so now i did it for the cricket but football and other event that is race team is also available in this so you can use it as per your requirement but here i am going to show you the live score of cricket So once I copy and copy and paste it to uh, this URL, we need token ID. Token ID I have already generated here. I copied and pasted. So this URL up to here will get it from here. And after that, we need to enter this token ID for generating a request. We don't need to do any other set setup apart from this. So in a header segment, you have to write your content type and which form of data you want, either JSON or Excel. So once I will hit send, it will generate a request and JSON file will be generated for us. So you can see different teams are participating and based on the different team, it will show up ID continent id and the name so this is the request is generated manually so if we want to generate it through an api and show up it to your path then let's see how we'll do that so here we are entering countries if you want to enter uh, just like here it's life scores so life source and we will click on send it will there is no data available because of that it's not showing anything here but if you enter here countries you will see countries detail so let's see how will pop up this message or this JSON file in our UR path. So this is the UR path account where before starting we'll need to download the packages. So for package just click on manage packages from where we will get web.api. Once you'll enter this you are able to see different packages are available over there. You have to download it and once you'll download you will get app integration folder here so i've already downloaded in my here so uapa.web activities from here you can generate your json rest soap and excellent so i've already downloaded because of that i'm not downloading it again click on app integration where we're able to see web from web drag and drop http request once you drag and drop, there would be an pop-up matches available on your site. So here we have to enter theme URL which we have providing, which we are providing here. Copy this and this is the end point. So we'll need till here. We are not providing any authorization here. Uh, JSON response as a JSON get definitely get if you want to change it according to your requirement, you can change it. But for creating a request, we are using this. So let's review this. Now you can see error is populated because of that. Pictures would will become 500 let me give you why because we have not provided api token so let's copy the full text here and paste it to here now private you can see theme request is generated here as well 
So, but this way we can click. So, let's see. We can do some interesting thing here. So, uh, and live let's preview it no there will be an error error generated because i think setting of sucker is wrong So we can go ahead with countries only. Click it and countries. Now you can see it's generated and status code is 200. Let's click on OK. Then it will see. So after that, we are able to see in the properties panel different options are available. So these options are basically required when we need any further information. Like you can see here, consumer key, consumer secret, or authentication one token, one token secret. So these all are required when you are doing any additional parameter. Even Simple authentication are also required, but we have directly provided our token in URL because of that we are not entering any authorization method. So let's create one variable here where we want to show up. Okay, the variable is test. Now it's done. Let's take a look of message box. Drag and drop one message box here. And directly print the same message which we are getting from HTTP request. So we created here test now let's save this and run the path and see what is the result is generating so you can also see Formula 1, cricket and football documentations are required or available. You can use it as per your requirement API. So, this is very interesting site which we can use it for making a request or we'll get the request ID. From here, we will do the request through the site. So, don't worry about that. I will mention both the URL in my description tab. You can refer it from there. So let's wait for the execution. Now you can see all the requests are generated and populated in message box. The message length is too big because of that it's generated like that and it's not in proper JSON format. If we want to generate through a proper json format we will need to drag and drop json or deserialize json in between that so here we are going to provide as a test is the variable so whatever input we are getting from here we are directly assigning it to here and the next we need to generate an json object it will be final result so in this it will assign or create a json object and send it to this here we are changing final result 
instead of test now you can see it's the let c this time we will get a proper json file to show this from here we are getting how many countries are uh, participating in post or uh, any event so you can see here different countries uh, countries id continent poland so second id is 11 or second id is 5 and the brazil then third id is 11 and the germany these all countries are available on this request from there we are extracting the data and this data looks like exact json format so this is how we are extracting or we are collecting data from the server through api and showing up to message box we'll also use it for the uh, various other scenarios like if we want to take out the data from uh, jira or any other account we'll also do that so let's recap what we have discussed till now and then well close we have started with the basics of api then we have seen here uh, how to create a json request first we have seen here how we'll get a token and the login credential of this from here we will get the url from which you are we will make and request so after getting an url and token we have collaborated here or collaged here and generated and request for generating and request definitely we need get method from the get method we have enter here content type application slash json and finally we had made a request and got this response after that we have created one sequence where where we are collecting data from through api and after doing deserialized json we are populating into message box so this is all about how we'll collect the data of any specific match or any specific event and show up into the message box hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this video consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching